Hey everyone, welcome back to lesson four in this quick start course for On One Photo Raw 2022. In this lesson, it's all about bringing these images to life using the develop tab inside of our edit module. And we'll also be discussing some of the basic tools we're going to be using whenever we're modifying imagery. So let's modify one of these hummingbird photos. I'm just going to select this photograph here. And to edit this image or take it into the edit module, I can head over here to the right side of my screen and I can select edit. I can tap and hold on it and I can select a specific tab or I can just hit D on my keyboard. So now we're inside of the develop tab inside of the edit module. And before we talk about these tone and color settings inside of the develop tab and some of these other panes, let's just first discuss this left hand side of our screen, the tool well. Now the tool well here is going to house all of the different tools that we can use to modify our photograph. And we're going to be discussing some of the more advanced tools later on in the course, but if you're not sure what a tool does, just hover over the tool. It will give you a quick description of that tool and also a little video of that tool in action. If you want more of an in-depth lesson on the tool, you can head here to this learn how option. I'm just going to crop this image a bit. So let's just select crop here. And whenever you select a tool, you can modify that tool with this top tool modifier bar here up top. With the crop tool, I can use this to modify my crop ratio. I can swap the ratio to create a vertical image. I can level the tool and I can also rotate. So let's just choose the original ratio. I'll just pull this in quite a bit here kind of center the bird a bit. And if I need to level the image, I can select this leveling tool and I can drag it across a horizon line or whatever I need to level and it will automatically level my photograph for me. So once you have the crop the way you want it, just head up here to apply or you can hit enter on your keyboard. Now that we've cropped the image, let's head over here to the develop tab and let's start talking about our tone and color. So inside of Tone and Color, we first have the camera profile menu here. And this is only going to be available if you're modifying a raw image. If you're modifying a raw image, you can modify the camera profile directly with this menu here. We have On One's profiles at the top, and then we have your camera's profiles at the bottom. If you'd like to import a profile, you can do that here. I'm just going to leave it at On One Standard. Below our camera profile, we have our tone section. This is where we can modify the basic tonality of our image, such as exposure, highlights, black point, things like that. What I typically do on images, if I'm not sure what to modify, is I can use this AI auto button, and this will automatically develop my image's tone for me. So you can see here by selecting the AI auto button, it's modified these different sliders in here. I can always modify these different sliders if I need to, or I can adjust the amount of this AI auto by selecting and modifying this auto slider. I'm just going to go in here and add in a little bit more of a mid-tone boost so that I can see more of our bird there. When it comes to these different sliders here, if you're not sure which one to use, I would recommend hovering over them and it will give you a description of what they do to your image. When it comes to these different sliders here, I'm just going to give you a short description and show you what they do with this image. Exposure will brighten and darken your image. Keep in mind that it's going to brighten and darken every single tonality in your image, regardless of what your image looks like. With contrast, this is going to add in contrast across your image. Contrast is going to increase the white and black points in your image, and it's going to make things a bit more detailed. By lowering the contrast, you're going to be removing those blacks and a bit of those whites, and it's going to brighten up the scene a bit, and you're going to be revealing some of those darker tones. With highlights, this will allow us to modify those really bright tones in our image 
so that we don't have any blowouts in skies or in our backdrops. The midtone slider is going to be pulling up on the middle grays in the image, basically the skin tones in the image. Let's take a look at inside of this bird here. These are a lot of middle grays in the photo. So let's pull up on this midtone slider, and you can see it's increasing the brightness of those middle grays in the scene. The shadow slider is going to modify the shadowy tones in the image almost the darkest areas in our photographs, but not quite. So if we pull up on the shadow tones, it's going to brighten these really dark areas in here. If we pull it back, it will darken the really dark areas in the scene. With the white and black sliders here, we can view and modify the true white and true black in our image. To view the true white and true black in your photograph, hold down the J key on your keyboard and this will show you your clipping warnings. The blue overlay here, this is showing me all of the true black in my photograph, which I can modify with this black slider here. If I have any true white in my photograph, it will show me with this red overlay which I can modify with the white slider. Below that we have our structure and our haze. The structure slider is going to increase the micro contrast in the image to make details and textures pop. The haze slider is going to reduce the look of haze or fog in your image. So if you have a hazier image with some fog, you can remove some of that haze with this haze slider. Below our tonality sliders, we have our color. In here, we can modify the temperature, saturation, and vibrance of our image to adjust how the colors look in the scene. Let's start here with this menu here. This menu will modify the white balance settings for your image. If you're not sure how to modify the white balance or you don't know what to do with the color area, you can always use this auto option. The temperature slider is going to modify the temperature of your image to make it warm or cool. By pulling it to the left, it will cool the image down. By pulling it to the right, it will warm the image up. Below that, we have our tint. The tint is going to adjust the green and magenta in our image. We then have our saturation and our vibrance. These two sliders are going to adjust the amount of color that we see in the photograph. Below the temperature area, we have our purity sliders. The purity sliders will allow us to remove any color from our highlights or our shadows. So if I want to remove color from my highlights, I can increase this slider and you can see it will remove all of the colors from those bright areas in my scene. If I want to remove the color from my shadows, I can pull up on this shadow slider. Below that, we have our noise and sharpening. Let's use this noise and sharpening pane on an incredibly noisy image. So if I head up here to my info tab, I can see that I'm shooting with an ISO of 10,000, making this an incredibly noisy photograph. To remove all of that noise quickly, let's use the noise and sharpening pane. More specifically, the all new no noise AI option. When I select this, it will automatically zoom my image into 100% and it will remove all of the noise from my image while maintaining all of the original details and textures. 
If I need to modify any of the noise reduction or sharpening, I can do so in these two areas. If I need to modify any of the other settings on my image, I need to choose this apply button to lock these no noise AI settings in. Now that those no noise AI settings are locked in, I can go back to any of these different tabs and tools and modifiers to adjust the look of my image further. Below noise and sharpening, we have our lens correction and we have transform. In lens correction, we can modify how our lens is corrected. So if we need to manually modify any distortion, we can do that in this manual section. And then we have transform. With transform, we can modify how our image is cropped. So let's just go back up here to tone and color real quick. And I'm just going to use this AI auto button again, just to quickly set the basic tone and color for my image. When it comes to modifying your image, if you want to view the original photograph so that you can see the changes you've made, you can do that in a couple of ways. The first way is to head down here to this preview button. If you tap this, this will show you the original photograph. And if you select it again, it will show you a preview of your edits. A fast way to view your original and your edited image is to hit the backslash key on your keyboard. You can also use this before and after slider here to preview the edits on your image 